Carfilzomib uh, is a new uh, epoxy ketone proteasome inhibitor. It's uh, been through a series of clinical trials, uh, perhaps the most important of which is the uh, 003A1 trial, which is uh, uh, the quote-unquote unmet need trial. Uh, so for patients with relapse and refractory myeloma, those without really legitimate uh, treatment options. So uh, the, this uh, trial looked at single-agent carfilzomib in two dose schedules. Uh, the 003, the original trial, was at 20 milligrams. The, uh, the A1 trial was at 20 milligrams, escalating to 27 milligrams per meter squared. And what we found in that trial was a very, very robust response rate, even in patients whose uh, disease was refractory to prior bortezomib. So bortezomib is the, the state-of-the-art proteasome inhibitor uh, that is commercially available at this time. So it's an excellent drug. Um, wide-ranging activity in multiple myeloma, perhaps the, the, the fastest acting of all the drugs that we use, but with a number of limitations. Uh, so we found that, uh, that carfilzomib was, was active in that uh, patient population, even in those patients who had failed uh, previous bortezomib use. And perhaps even more importantly than that was that these patients didn't suffer from what is the critical uh, dose-limiting toxicity of, uh, of bortezomib, and that's peripheral neuropathy. So, so patients uh, with multiple myeloma, unfortunately, often have to discontinue therapy because they develop this, uh, what is not just numbness, but, but often painful uh, pain associated with the, the, the numbness. And carfilzomib virtually had no uh, high-grade peripheral neuropathy.